hey guys, Old Wolf is still here. Um, while I was editing this video up, I figured I'd do a little introduction. Um, what we got going today on the table is a couple miniatures. Um, one's for Marius Augustus Calgar. Um, I know in one of his last vids where he was showing some uh, um, Dante and stuff, he mentioned that um, uh, me and some others are doing a, um, a little patriarch um, chapter master deal for him to add to his uh, cabinet and um, just letting Marty us know basically I've got the uh, uh, little quick look here uh, not really <laughs> coming in very well but uh, there we go chapter master for the wolves is done this is here I got a little bit of clean up on the base yet but he's painted and the base is dolled up um, also got the rust figure one way you'll see him here in a minute in the, in the vid um, where I'll see what you think of him and uh, he's about ready to start painting a little bit more green stuff but uh, he's about ready to primer and paint and um, also we'll be showing you um, uh, chapter master I'm doing for uh, Kozar the Red he's a buddy of mine here um, here in town uh, he works with uh, I'd be crazy and myself and uh, he's contemplating running blood angels uh, he has a channel Kozar the Red I'll put a link excuse me I'll put a link in a doobly doo for him he's a pretty nice guy uh, he hasn't put up any vids yet but you know being crazy he's working on him. He'll, I'll get him to get one up sooner or later. Um, you know, once he gets started in full, we'll try to indoctrinate him into the game, <laughs> into the YouTube dance, as we tell Ren. But um, see, I have a couple little shots here of the Russ and a little tip for you on how I started uh, Kozar. So um, stay tuned. I'll be right back and uh, start showing you some figures. Thanks guys, we'll talk to you in a minute. Hey guys, this is my little shot for on the table this week. Is here, is a Lehman Russ, or at least my take on Lehman Russ. Um, still got a little bit of base work to do. A little bit more um, green stuffing to fill out some parts. Basically I needed to get him balanced more on the base. Got some green stuff on the sword left. And of course you know, getting the other hand in. Uh, one of the things I did to this, thanks you know, thanks as Jara for pointing it out, is we got a magnetized base so that uh, he'll rest on the base right. Like I said, i got a little bit more build up to do yet to get him to be balanced out properly. He should be more forward like that. But like I said, that's more green stuff work. Basically I'm going to extend that cape down a little bit more. The lower cape. So I got some little bit of detail work to do on him, and he'll be done. If you're wondering what he's coming from, there we go. It's off of um, the Horse Heresy book, Presidio Burns, Wolf's Unleashed. Uh, this is one of the most current versions I've found so far of uh, the Russ and I really like this compared to some of the old ones I've seen and uh, I think he's turning out okay he's like I said, it's not the exact stance but um, it's workable uh, hope you guys like and like I said oh yeah I got to do a custom backpack for him yet. Um, I'm going to try to duplicate the one that he's wearing there. And uh, he should be good to go. Hope 
Hope you like. See you guys later. Hey guys, noticed in comments that some of you guys seem to like this um, uh, little modification I do to uh, turn a power armor chest piece into a terminator. Okay, basically what I go about doing here is I get my terminator back, terminator front, and on the terminator front piece, uh, it's right here where the shoulder is, cut this halo out right here at the shoulder. Take it off on both sides and then take the halo and glue it into its position in the back piece. And then take the uh, chest piece that I want to use. Like say in this case it's a sanguinean chest piece. And tack it here at the corners of the halo. And you want to leave, well, let's go to this side here. So you want to leave this gap so that the uh, chest is full enough to fit on a set of legs. Uh, and then once it's tacked here in the corners, that'll allow you to adjust for your legs. The Terminator legs have a wider ball, you may have noticed. And you'll have to adjust this ball here to fit into this chest piece. But it's relatively easy. Just take your knife and scrape it out a little bit. <clears throat> and then once this tack point here dries, once you've got the thickness you need, take a little green stuff, pack in a gap, so that it, when the green stuff sets up, the chest piece won't close up anymore. Say so once this is set in, you go all the way under, and uh, you'll also have a little bit here on top. And uh, once you get that all set in there and dry, the, basically the chest piece will stay as thick as you're supposed to have it, or as you need it. Then basically what you'll do, as I've started it over here, is layering in green stuff to get the details you want. Basically you'll take, you know, fill in this gap here and start adding like in this case a sanguinean uh, muscle and stuff just start adding it in a little bit at a time and bringing it out until basically you lose the power armor um, shoulder which is you know this normal power armor shoulder and of course your terminator shoulder you also you'll carry this green stuff up uh, where the gap is right here, you just fill it in and match it up. And basically, you'll just thicken it up there and just smooth it out to a to the neckline where it's supposed to be. Also, back in here, you're filling these gaps uh, just like you're filling cracks. And also, the Terminator chest piece you can't really see it with this light is deep compared to a power armor. Um, you see the power armor right here so basically what you'll do is you'll take and fill all this in until you get this pretty much level where it's sort of flat across right now you can see where I'm hitting that's what you gotta fill in and now your neck piece will be set for your head and pop this off the base here and I'll show you underneath See underneath, I just packed in some green stuff just to keep my distance. And like I say, what you'll do is just take and match it in to where it sits where you want it. And then file out the, um, the ball right there on the terminator legs to where it fits where you want it. You're good to go. And I know I just talked earlier in a bit about uh, um, Kozar the Red. Basically this is going to be his Terminator Captain. And um, so I'm taking this Inguinian chest and making him a uh, sort of runic 
flashy armor for a Terminator captain. And that's your little quick tip and an intro to Kozar the Red. Thanks guys. We'll talk to you later.